Hey, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This is the Broken Geek and in today's video, I recently went to a site visit where there was a flash slab and I kind of designed some of the elements of this building, but I'm not going to say out loud which building it is because of all these copyright things, you know. But hey, I just thought to myself, why don't I take some photos and I tell some of my subscribers what usually happens when the steel fixes are laying out still for a flat slab or just any slab in general as it will help you in getting a visual of what happens. So without wasting too much time, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first things first, this site visit is in the motherland aka Africa. And what we have is a flat slab with beams at its outer edges. But to get right to the meat and potatoes, we all know the first thing they will do when they at site is to mark out and lay out the bottom steel. This is done because the bottom steel is what caters for the bending moment that will be in the slab and this is usually the largest trace that occurs in the entire slab. Then once this is laid, the next thing they will do is place the stews. So one common mistake a lot of people make is they detail and schedule all the steel that is required but they forget to put stews then at the site people have to MacGyver and find ways of supporting the top bars thanks to your mistake. Alright, once the stews are in place, obviously the next thing is to place the top bars and voila, you have your slab cage nice and neatly done. So some important things that you need to note when inspecting these bars once they are now tied and laid out on the deck pants is number one. Ensure the bars are correctly placed and spaced. Number two, ensure you have concrete kickers or spaces at the bottom of your slab and also make sure your bottom bars are not sitting directly on the deck pads. Number three, ensure you have enough stews and your top bars are not just sagging unsupported. Number four, ensure you have adequate lap lengths wherever two bars are joined together. And five, if it's a flat slab, make sure there is enough steel around the columns for punching sheet. This last one is usually seen by just checking the spacing intervals between your bars where the columns are and compare this to everywhere else, normally the spacing of the columns needs to be much much smaller. Then also don't forget to check your beams, always ensure that enough lengths and the correct bar marks have been used and if not then point this out to the contractor or the steel fixer. Right, remember, the bar diameter is always written on the bars so check it against your drawings to ensure it has been placed correctly. Then like I said, always check the column connections to make sure that you have enough bars to take care of the punching sheet that will okay there. This is very important. Then last but not least, if there are any voids, always check to ensure that they are correctly set out but in this case, it was still a work in progress because it's a pretty big deck but then there is a glimpse of the shuttering for the stage. So that's it for today. This has been a quick short video because I really just wanted to share with you one of the days outside the office in the home studio. Unfortunately, I couldn't take amazing videos because I don't have the adequate gear as yet but help support me by subscribing and liking my videos and I might be able just to get the gear and bring you amazing content that is not amateur and or for full of poor sound quality. So once again subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video tutorial and please just like and support me and I'll bring more awesome videos to you guys. Thank you very much.